My name is Kevin Tokoff, and in this video we're going to discuss the theory behind citrate agar test. All right, so when we use citrate agar, this is basically agar that contains citrate. Okay, it turns out that some bacteria are actually able to use citrate as a carbon source. This is kind of a general scheme showing what they might be able to do. Citrate can be converted to acetate, which can be used as a carbon source. It can be converted to acetyl-CoA. Also, oxaloacetate, which is a Krebs cycle intermediate, can be converted to pyruvic acid and carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide can ultimately react and be transformed into carbonate, which will form a compound called sodium carbonate. And it turns out that the sodium carbonate will actually turn the agar blue. What this citrate agar test is actually measuring, other than a bacteria's ability to use citrate as a carbon source, is it's actually measuring the pH. We have a pH indicator that's a little bit different. It's called bromothymol blue. So bromothymol blue, when it turns alkaline, turns blue. It's actually normally green at neutral pH. So actually, we'd have a citrate agar that would actually start out more like the color on the left side here. It would start out uh, green. And if the bacteria that's inoculated onto here is able to use citrate as a carbon source, we will form sodium carbonate and it will actually turn the agar blue because of the, the pH indicator, bromothymol blue. Okay, so if we see blue here on the citrate agar, that's indicative of bacteria that are able to use citrate as a carbon source. Bacteria that cannot use citrate as a carbon source will not grow on this. So if we have growth, we should see that blue uh, color transformation. Okay, here's some more results for this. In some cases, you can do this on a plate, and in some cases, you can do it on a, in a tube. Okay, but blue color changes are positive for citrate, meaning the bacteria can use citrate as a carbon source. So in this picture on the left, we would say this result right here where my mouse is on the left side, that is a positive citrate result. Same thing over here on the right side of the right figure, this is a positive result because of the blue, okay? In some cases, the blue may not be distributed all the way to the bottom of the tube, but you should see the blue. If it's a negative result, you will see absolutely no blue. This is all green right here, as you can see. Same thing as this negative result for citrate right here in the figure on the left, okay? So pretty much the only thing you have to do here is distinguish between blue and green. A blue result means citrate can be used as a carbon source. Green result means it cannot, and it won't even grow in the first place. Okay, so make sure to watch the demonstration video on citrate agar test. And in the next video, we're actually going to discuss the oxidase test.